Lecture 16. Topic 4.5. Average function value. And topic 4.5. Area under and between curves. The average value of a function, or the average height of a function, is the height of the rectangle that has area equivalent to the area under the curve of the function. Topic 4.5. One of the first applications of the integrals, the average function value. So let me remind you the idea of this first application, which is very important in business. Important theorem. It has application in business <laughs> probably every time when you want to know the average revenue, profit, or cost. But suppose that you have some function, some function describing the revenue, and you want to establish some minimum salary based on the average revenue of your company. This will be basic salary, and in addition, you can consider a prime based on the increment of the revenues, etc. So let's see one simple example to understand the, the physical meaning of this theorem. But suppose that we have a function, any function. In this case, I am using third degree function. Could be second degree function. Could be linear function. So we are looking for the average function value on the interval closed interval a b so this theorem says that always will be a value of the function in x average value for which for which the area under this rectangle will be exactly the area under the curve. On the studied interval. In this case, we have a third degree equation. So of course, we will, we will find one, two, three solutions. Okay? C, C1, and C2. Only one will work mathematically all of them, but when we get the solution, the third degree provides three solutions, probably two will be imaginary, and one exact solution of the problem. So we can write in this situation that we got F in C. After that, we can evaluate C, and by this way, we will know when we get average value of our production, of the process that we are analyzing. If, if having second degree equation, for example, something like this, a parabolic function, so between A and B, we will find also an average value somewhere located the suppose here. So this area will be exactly the same as that one. In this case, probably we will get also two solutions because the second degree, but really one works, that one. This will be our value C. That's the, the, the physical meaning of the theorem. And now let's see one example. In calculus, we represent the average function value by this way. The value of the function on the average level will be equal to the integral from the beginning of the interval up to the end of the interval of the function in x divided by the distance of this interval. So let's solve one example 
<coughs> given a function x2 plus 3x plus 1. The question is, find the average value on the interval from 1 to 4. The function is continuous, which is requirement in order to find the average value. So on the interval, 1,4. So this is a parabola like this. This is our function f in x. So as you can understand, between 1 and 4, we are looking for c value where the function gets average value. So let's solve the problem. As, as we learned from the beginning, the integral from 1 to 4 of x second plus 3x plus 1 dx will be x cubed divided by 3 plus 3x three squared divided by 2 plus x. The integration goes between 1 and 4. So we can right now log in the limits value 4 cubic divided by 3 plus 3 times 4 squared divided by 2 plus 4 minus now in 1 1 cubed divided by 3 plus 3 times 1 squared divided by 2 plus 1 which is equal, which is equal to, so it is equal to 46 and a half, or 93 divided by 2 is the same. So, our exercise can be written by this way. The function in C will be, c squared plus 3c plus 1, which is equal to the integral that we just solved divided by 3. So final answer can be taken by solving this equation. c2 plus 3c plus 1 is equal to 93 divided by 2 divided by 3. I will not spend time with arithmetic, apply quadratic equation, and you get c is equal to minus 3 half plus minus square root of 67 divided by 2, which is equal to 2.59. This is the x position where the function gets the average value. In order to get the the exact value of the average we replace right now on that equation 2.59 2.59 square plus 3 times 2.59 plus 1 which is equals to 50.49 that's the second part of our solution. The first one, the value of x, where the function gets 1549. Topic 4.6, another of, of the important application of the integrals. 
the area under and between curves. So we will have three main cases when working with one function. Let's see. Let's consider that we have a function. Uh, in, in one graphic, we can do everything. In one graphic, we can do everything. We have a function like, like this between A and B. So the, the area, the area in this case will be the integral from A to B of the F in X dx, which is equal to the antiderivative in B minus the antiderivative in A according to the fundamental theorem of algebra. This is our f in x. If, if we have the function now under the axis x, this area also will be the integral between a and b of fx dx, which will be equals to, okay, let me write by the same way, f in b minus antiderivative in a, but in this case, this is negative, this is negative. Why? Because the minus indicates that the area goes under the axis x. As you can see, negative area do not exist. But the meaning, the physical meaning is that it goes under the axis x. In such case, we can write, based on, on the last property we studied before, that this is the integral from a to b of f in x dx, which is equal to f in a minus f in b. Remember, when working with, when working with definite integral, we don't need the constant. We, we get exact result when analyzing any one process. Now, could be that we have mixed situation. Mixed situation like this. A function coming by this way, for example, and we are analyzing between A and B. Let's consider that we have here A and here B. Now, we have to solve the problem by finding the interception with axis X. Let's call it C. Because if you calculate the integral between A and B, you will get the, the resulting solution, the resulting value from adding that part and subtracting that one. So in this case, we will have wrong result. But what is reality in this situation is the solution will be from A to C, F in X dx plus, but this plus is negative, so we have to subtract minus from C to B, F in X dx. So the, the understanding of the, of the behavior of the function is very important in order to find the correct solution. You cannot solve the problem if you don't know the behavior of the function. Could be that you solve, but it will be casualty, not because you know exactly what you are doing. So let's see a group of of three, four different variants when, when looking for the exact area under or between the graph. Let's see some situations. For example, 
having having a function first cut the axis and secondly only touch it somewhere here and we are looking for the area between a and b in this case we also have to solve the equation in this case is probably a polynomial and find this point c final integral final area the total area will be integral from a to c of f x dx plus integral from c to b of f x dx that's the function f in x in our system in such case <clears throat> in such case both areas are positive both areas are positive but if we had something like this in this case in that point c we have to change the sign for the blue color we have about this procedure is really universal procedure and you can apply it when looking for the area between two curves let's see one example suppose that we have two functions like this function number one for example f in x function number two for example g in x now the integration goes from a to b for both functions if we are looking for the area between them between them not that before i use it always a and b on the first quadrant but a can be anywhere on the first of the second quadrant and the equation works the same way when you use a here you are adding negative number and minus time minus becomes plus so you are adding this small sector what happened here if we are looking for the area between this both curve first of all let's write the equation in order to find the area shower in red color so this will be this area will be the integral from a to b of f x d x now what happened with the blue color with the blue color we are looking for this area the area in blue color also from a to b f in x dx when subtracting in blue color from red color we get the area we are looking for so this area can be written as first of all the red color the red color f in x dx from a to b minus minus the blue color the blue color which is from a to b g x sorry i before wrote f here goes g g x because blue color is g x g x dx this is our final 
representation. This is our final equation to evaluate the area between two curves. Interesting that if any one of these area will be on the under the axis x under the axis x for example by this way this is f in x and that one will be g in x between a and b we use exactly the same equation because now you know that this equation will be negative so minus times minus will be plus so you are adding these two areas and if you are looking for the area between these two curves so this representation this equation is universal equation it works in any case now let's let's do one math example a clean calculus example and it will serve as a basis to all other examples you have on the notebook remember that area represents the accumulated information that area could be the total profit could be the total cost not the cost in one value of x for for one a specific number of item for for a specific number of service no will be the accumulated from that value to the number you are using for the evaluation remember any question that you cannot solve especially the business problems contact me in my office hours. one interesting property when working with areas is the the condition of the even and odd functions what for example if we have even function the exponent will be even number for example a parabola a parabola and let's suppose that we are working using symmetric situation between some number minus a and a so as you can understand the the area in this part is exactly to the area in this part so here works that integral from minus a to a of the f in x dx will be equals to two times two times the integral from zero to a of f in x dx this is for even functions and now let's see what happens if if having odd functions so odd function the exponent is odd number they are symmetric towards the origin eh? the even is symmetric towards y-axis so could be something like this for example so the same shape we have here on the on the second quadrant we have on the four quadrant and let's consider that we are looking for the area between a negative and a positive we are looking for this total area now here here is a situation be careful if you if you evaluate if you evaluate the integral between minus a and a of fx dx you get zero because these two areas are equals and this is negative this is positive positive negative 
negative. So the correct evaluation will be from A negative to zero, from zero to A. Or you can consider two times and use positive sign. So two times integral from A negative to zero of f x dx or which will be equals to equals to equals to from zero to a of f in x dx this these two properties are also very important now we are ready to solve one example example number one from the notebook on page 144 find the area between y equals to x squared plus 2 and y equals to 2x plus 5. So this is our question. As I told you before, you have to know the function you are working with. So let's represent them. x2 plus 2. This is a parabola, something like this. When x0 in plus 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. When x0, 2. When x, for example, 1 will be 3, 3. So we have a parabola like this. Uh, let me use larger, larger units on axis X to facilitate the visualization of the graph. So for example, here would be one, here would be two. So we have a function like this, like this approximately. Okay, this point will be one comma three, this point will be 0, 2. Now, the second function. The second function, let's use blue color. Blue color for that one. So, 2x plus 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5. Here is the interception. The slope is 2, so room 1, rise 2. We have a line like this. I did small correction to the graph to facilitate the explanation. So we are looking for this area, area between these two curves. Uh, the calculation has to be between A and B. Um, with the precision that I can work on the board, I don't know exactly where is A and where is B. So if somewhere here are located these two points. But the main question is that we are looking for the integral from A to B of, let's consider that this is Y1 and this is Y2. I am using one because it is upper position. I am subtracting the second one for the first one in order to get this green color area of fx in this case i will not use fx i will use y1 dx minus integral from a to b y2 dx Based in one previous property we study, I can simplify my work. I can write integral from A to B of Y1 minus Y2 dx. And this will be the result, the, the correct result to the given question. I need to know A and B, which are point one and point two. So now, first of all, I have to solve, I have to solve the system of equation. So Y 
equals to x squared plus 2, which will be in this position, in this position, the same value of y, equals to 2x plus 5, which is y1, and this is y2. These two y's are the same. Let's solve the system. Let's solve x2 minus 2x move 5 minus 3 equals to 0. Factor x minus 3 times x plus 1 equals to 0. So x equals to 3 and x equals to negative 1. Now we know that we are here in 3, we are here in minus 1. So minus 1 and 3 are the limits of the integral and we can solve the integral very fast. Integral from minus 1 to 3 of 2x plus 5 minus x2 plus 2 all of that dx. So it's exactly this equation but with negative sign. We get minus x2 plus 2x plus 3 plus 5 minus 2 plus 3 dx between minus 1 and 3. Let's solve the integral. Minus x cubed divided by 3 plus 2x squared divided by 2 plus 3x. The integration goes from minus 1 to 3, which is equal to, drawing in the numbers, will be minus 3 cube divided by 3 plus 2 times 3 squared divided by 2 plus 3 times 3 minus everything goes with negative but the first one positive plus minus 1 cube divided by 3 minus 2 times minus 1 squared divided by 2 plus 3 times minus 1 Complete this arithmetic operation, complete this arithmetic operation, and you get 32 over 3, 10.667. The solution of the example from 2 to 10, including the business examples, uh, are, are available on the blackboard. So let me know if any question. With this lecture, we are finishing our, our course of introductory business calculus. Remember the the majority of the examples and real case examples can be found in, in my class portal on Blackboard. Thank you. The end of the lecture 16. This is the last lecture of Professor Preto Valdez of the Introductory Business Calculus course. Examples with step-by-step -step solution, including business application, can be found in his Blackboard class portal. If you are interested in other topics included in the Business Calculus Notebook, ISBN 9798729023608, 
please contact Professor Preto Valdez using Blackboard Class Portal or his webpage. Thanks.